Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhengjiang campaign. We pick things up for episode 6 from turn 35 in the summer season of 201. So, as we hop back in, uh, we need to continue our war with Yuan Shu. But first, we're going to get paid doing that. So, let's talk to... Uh, not assignments. Let's talk to Liu Yao and get him to pay us to do that. As he's one of the few factions that's currently in the war with uh, Yuan Shu here. You can see he's willing to pay quite a bit, which is rather nice. Um, let's see what we can get from him for this. He's also willing to pay us tribute. I guess we're strong enough now. Military strength beats out opinion of the idea. Very, very, very good. Okay. So, I guess we'll just get the extra turn on top of that as well. 20 turns of payment. He's poor, but that seems the only thing worth getting. I'm not going to ask him for any non-aggression and military access. Well, maybe maybe we can throw in a non-aggression here for value. Right. Okay, that's too much money. He is a poor faction. He's gonna get a lot poorer because he's about to pay us tribute. It's gonna be four, no, two, three? Okay, it's gonna be two. That's fine. So we're gonna get 2,640 over 20 turns. We're gonna get 35% of all his other income, trade, taxation, family, state, all ours, non-question pack, plus getting, uh, well, I guess we don't get paid. There's no events now for mercenary contracts, a bit broken, uh, but we're gonna be in a contract with him. It means we'll get military access over his line, uh, land. Not bad. That actually, me, that actually makes me think that I could probably get demand tribute from some of the other smaller factions here. Yeah, he's not a small faction, but he doesn't hate us, so it's only minus 40. Minus 15. Okay. If we become stronger and, you know, make Liu Bei weaker, we can force this one. So it's almost a bit too strong right now, but only 9.2. Ooh. This is promising. Ah, uh, you cannot give him stuff for this. But you can do peace deals and such. Interesting. Can't demand it from vassals. 47. Yep, can't demand it from vassals because they're already paying some form of tribute. That makes sense. 33. He's weak. But I want his land. Six point three. Hmm. Let's talk to him. We're not single anymore. Can't really steal Ma Chao. That's okay. Not in this to steal all the characters. We will just have to marry him away or find another wife for other characters. Liu Chong will die before... Ah, okay. So there's a shift in power. If we keep beating him down, he's going to have a piece of land at the end. We're not going to be able to eliminate him. I'm not going all the way across. So we're going to take all of this and then peace out with him. Get tribute from him. Perfect. 1.7k in tributaries right away. Awesome. Um, their army is wiped. We're gonna chase them down. Zheng Jiang's army. So, let's see. Move them into reinforcement range. And we will start making a new army very soon. They can't escape because they're on march. They're gonna drag out the garrison, which is great. We get to wipe them out as well. So, let us go. 
Alrighty, so we do get a siege weapon that's actually kind of useful uh, for the first time. No flaming shots because we haven't gotten the unlock for the skill, but that's fine. We just needed to help us start sieges. Uh, that's really the reason why we got it. Their reinforcements come from over here. That's a little annoying. Something like this, maybe? I don't think I want to move it, even though we're kind of down slope. Uh, we'll move it back. They don't see us yet. Let's go! Now the toolmaker garrisons are not that strong. There's no spear if I remember correctly. And I'm not interested in chasing down the garrison, because another fight would mean uh, more infamy for us. Oh, where are they? Guess it's foggy? It should be... Oh, there, 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 there. Okay, a lot of melee calves. That part is very annoying. Alright, the cavalry is not going to show up. It's fine. Charge! Wipe them out! Alright, we're just gonna eliminate everyone but the melee cows. Oh, they bounce back, Captain Unit. Let's go kill them. He's maintaining pretty good. Oh, he guess he routed, he just doesn't know it yet. We'll pull away. He's negative 73. Hmm, they bounce back. Can't have that. We should wipe them out before the cavalry come charging back at us. Actually, no, no, no. You always want to shoot at the farther one to pierce through the ones early on. And they're not going to do anything? Mm -hmm. 
Alright, we're gonna go one side. See what they do. No help. I mean, we're happy to go into the forest. Here they come. We're gonna take some damage here. Might be a little rough. Ooh. Getting charged quite a bit. You can see Liu Chong's health bleeding down. He's bleeding down before able to use Poison Volley. Here, make sure everyone's unbreakable real quick. You stay out. Hit them. Oh, that's not good. Armor down, armor down. Oh, he's gonna get wiped. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't die. No, 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 no. He's level four. That's the problem. It's not like, you know, routing away, but. You won't die of, you know, actually die. Because you will die, die. Gotta get her out. Sorry, Lu Su, you're gonna have to die here. Alright, he survived. Why don't you hide for a little bit? We'll let the tankier units take care of this. Oh, another wave of melee calves. Seems like we missed him with the earlier shot. Get her out. Oh my god, they're just charging her. No, no, she got out, she got out, she got out. Ah, the Oh, Liu Ji got routed. Liu Ji's not dying. Oh, stay with them, stay with them. We're invisible again. We have troops. We can beat this group. Not a big deal. I can get him to blow fire on his own unit. That would be great, actually. One more of those. Alright, they're good. Mm. 
Let's regroup. Okay, they're finally routing. Phew. That was close. Rizzi routed off. You didn't die. Alrighty. We need a real army. Against cavalry, it's really rough. Especially melee calf. Okay, 20 fame and fortune right off the bat. Infamy, that's what we really want here. Ooh, officer. Bruin officer, Drungvin? Okay, he's a little old. Um, ambitious plus Bruin is going to be hard to deal with. He's still not willing to work with us, but we're going to keep releasing him. This is the tough question. What do we want to do with Zhangwen? I actually don't think we're going to recruit him. I don't want to find him a wife. I mean, I could. I'm pretty rich. He just would die soon. That's the only problem. I'm going to pass. And he can't, I'm not going to let Yuan Shu keep him either. Alright, Level 4... Tenacity of Steel probably be best? Yeah. So now they all have resiliency. Luizi doesn't. She gotta watch out. She dies. Can't explain it to the dad. Alright, we get a follow up fight. Uh, close victory. We're not gonna delegate this, we're gonna fight this. Will Sul still alive? 92% capture. Maybe he'll come through this time for us? Let's see. Alright, so we're gonna move our units towards our reinforcement. And we're just gonna siege them out, avoid the cavalry, use our troops. Keep our generals alive, especially Lupo's daughter. Do not want to have that conversation with the father. Can we have you hide somewhere? There you go. Actually, just get rid of the towers. That'll be easier for us to go in. Accuracy is going to be a big deal. It's a level 1 tribuchet. It's okay. Use up all the ammo, crush the towers. That's mission accomplished for us. Alright, 7 ammo, 8 ammo. Crush this. Should be very doable. Oh no. There we go, there we go. Two shots, come on. I believe. Okay, one, with one shot to spare. Alright, kill the units. Good for you guys. Move up, move up, move up. She won't let her go first. She has not only more health, but she also has stock. Those are not hard to kill. Those are the ones we want to shoot at.
Well... Alright, nick them as well. Oh. Hold on, we don't want to walk into the enemy range. We'll just outrange them. How long does it take to kill you? You have six units. Five. Okay. Four. There you go. I don't know if we can actually reach that. I get all these. Where's the reinforcement army? Next, where, where's their generals? Wusu, where are you? So tanky against missiles. Alright, now they're routing. No one moving up against us. Your guards. Alright, use your last one. And go chill. Yeah, I don't see their generals. Running the wrong way. They're in a single file line. Am I seeing this correctly? Come on, line up. Oh no, why are you aiming the last one? Oh, there we go. That's the line. Alright, that's the unit we want to fire at. Uh, she's also done. Go chill. Rapid Tiger actually has no shield. Alright, 
备就绪，鼓起勇气，速速前进。I want to throw the traps on maybe that unit. Man, four shots didn't even kill a single one. Yeah, that's where their units are. Oh, I still have so many units. The unit here ran over here. Oops. We're still sneaking. Charge! They come from. We might actually have killed him, like straight up killed him, but we won. He doesn't have Burrant, we probably wouldn't have married him off. Usu was a nice guy, but he's gonna die here. Alrighty. So with that clean up, I think we can officially start making our own real army now. Payment fortune, infamy, we're not gonna give this away. This is a tool maker, probably level 4, given how it's double stacked. So we'll loot and occupy. We're 144, we're in tier 3, which means we're gonna suffer some decay. We also get some nice prestige boost, satisfaction boost, morale boost, extra diplomatic uh, income from tributes. Um, we can probably pump this up pretty quickly. If we keep gaining infamy, we can gain about 150 more points if we keep rising. That's not a bad idea. She's going to be recalled. I'm going to put her with her dad. That's going to be our first official army. And depending on if Liu Chong gets along with them or not, we can also swap them out. So let's see what we can do here. 
Going to do a mass recall. Get some heals going on. Do they get along? I'm not sure. But maybe the better plan is actually to recall the singles. And then have him share the spoils to heal up the troops quickly. Yes, yeah, level 3, perfect. Uh, we're gonna get massive amount of income here, that's gonna be the goal. Keeping that, we don't have a build slot, we're gonna rush. It's gonna be in private workshop, state workshop. Bandit building? We might throw a tribute hall in here. Hmm, this would be like a long term investment to make everything else cheaper. Boost battle loot. Yeah, it's a good building. Thousand to rush, we can afford that. Uh, there's no need to pump this up anymore. The discount for the building is kind of preset. So we're going to do the inn. Pengchong. Is Pengchong building a lot of things? Kind of. Cancel that. Anything quick here? I guess private would be quick, but two turns kind of what we're looking for because his assignment would be next turn. So maybe we just throw the N in here. But then these would just be one. So we'll do one turn, one turn, and then this will be one turn when it's ready. So that way we're most efficient, but then we're running out of building slots as well. Hmm. We'll definitely build the inn soon. Well, they shouldn't have rushed it. Alright, it's fine. Just savings. And at the same time, we're going to summon the army. Because I know Yuan Shu's army is coming back. I'm going to summon them... Probably here. Have Lubu's army march over here. Actually, that's kind of redundant. Have him come here, march over here, then march down here. That's probably better. Oh, time for, to pay for them. So expensive. Now, some of these are not going to stay with us. Camp Crushers, Flying R Riders, Heavy Sea Lion will stay. Raider Cav? Probably not. D Infantry... Save it. Uh, see, the problem is we can't recruit many of these units back. I, we can get D Infantry. It's, it'll be part of the Reform Tree. Heads and Raiders, they're all terrible. I'm gonna keep this guy. The tank missiles. I'm gonna flip him for one hidden axe. For flexibility, but I think if Luigi is gonna be in this army, we're gonna have hidden axe anyways. Hmm. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Four cavalry, one camp crusher. We'll probably get more cavalry from our reforms, and then we'll be able to put them in for good use. Gets along with daughter. Gets along with Luo Jun. Hmm, this will be a no strategist army? I guess so. I guess we're gonna play without strategists. Say goodbye to formations. Lord Jun Yuan Tan has a sick army actually. Sure, actually. Let's make that our first full army, although his burn buff would be nice. And they get along, actually. We'll see if he gets along with Lu Ji later on. 
you're going to be sharing the spoil. You're also going to be sharing the spoils just to boost this to insanely high. Although the lack of supply might cause some satisfaction hits, but 66 is fine. All right, we're going to start making armies, and that will be something that will help us in the long run. Fourteen K, not exactly rich. He's coming back. Oh, Lu Su's still alive. Maybe, hmm, maybe he's dead. Like Zhang Wen's dead. Like me recruiting him right now would be pointless. We recruited plenty of dead generals before. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Uh, don't don't need to He's on cooldown I should have put him in here before that Wait, Lo Jun has a position no yes, okay, so Lu Ji goes to Dol next turn and we will be good and That's all we really need to do. Let's continue Wow, they get along I mean that's gonna be Xu Huang joining Cao Cao eventually uh, we just have to pay, that's okay. Uh, Han officer... Han officer, pass. So daughters are busy coming together. Wo Jun gets along with both, and also he will give the burn buff, so he's gonna come. There we go. We want one of these building assignments here. Yeah, she needs some level up. So it doesn't matter if she doesn't like Lojun, she's gonna be here. And that means buildings will be faster next turn. Let's do a conversion this turn. That's a perfect way to spend this turn. And then we can build it in one turn and it'll be finished. This group. Is going to reunite with our Poison Volley Generals and go take a farmland for us. Hmm, they don't get. Well, we use up all deployment, but it seems like the other general doesn't get along with them. Maybe they won't go with them. Maybe they'll stick with this in a separate army. Let's see, we got Yellow Sky, Heralds, they're unbreakable, that's kind of their only redeeming factor, but not that good. Scholar Warriors hurt a lot, uh, but a bit pricey, actually very pricey, 371. Ghost battle loot. We need to win 10 siege battles, that's just a matter of time. We can get fire arrows, which is actually really good. So maybe just bandit hunters. Or actually. Hidden axes with fire arrows, cod scare, ranged weapon, melee evasion, purple units. A lot of synergy here too. What would he recruit? Okay, he would take the frontline units. Hmm. We'll grab two. And then two more with shield. They're just so cheap. We get five of these, another thousand three hundred off our income. 
and we can't use them as range units. We'll do a balance of both. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. General off the left. And we should also pump up instinct as much as possible for discounts. Why do you have a clay dog? Wuss is happy, right? Yeah. There we go. This way everything's a little cheaper. There we go. And he has reach, yep. And you guys can get in here and uh, muster up a little bit. And we still have a decent amount of economy going on. Get unbreakable. That could come in handy. Dasu is here. Dasu needs a wife. Ooh, this can go to one of our administrators, especially in... Ah, right. So we just swap his item. He's not going to let us swap again. We're going to dump this. We'll just do it next turn. He's very happy. He doesn't need that. He can keep that one. He needs a wife. We got a sentinel. Nice. Um, he's a bandit. He's fine. We killed one of our bandits. We killed Yuan Han's wife. So Yuan Han's also due for another marriage. Another strategist. Oh, another poison volley general. Wonderful. Lumbering discipline spiteful. Okay, not terrible. Rebel Exile, increased speed of own retinue, shot cavalry, doesn't really work well with um, sentinels. Magician, uh, sounds interesting. Uh, local commandery, public order, so she just has to stand there. Own army plus two morale, that's not bad. Traits, not really cunning based. Hmm, okay. I wouldn't kill her. So they're all fine. We are very low here, but I think now with the retinue, better if we balance things out. Now, does that affect satisfaction? Thirty-seven. Okay, everyone is at least decently happy. That's good because we got the reform, uh, the position fixed, and then we'll be attacking over here. We'll be attacking over here. Perfect. Army's all good. Reforms waiting. Any new spies? Ooh. The son wants to betray the father. The son wants to betray the father. Assassination attempts. We don't have a lot of money. Enough to do one of the sons. He's the heir. I know for sure. Liu Qi is not the heir. I'm pretty sure Liu Chong is the heir. So we're going to hold off on him. He'll be a free spy because he's a family member. He has Gao Shun. Oh, right. This is the army that's marching back towards us right now. Ziling, Gao Shun. Okay, we'll crush them. Lu Bu will go face off against his old lieutenant. Well, we don't need to do anything except for assassinate Yuan Shu. Give him a taste of his own historical medicine. So first we have boost this. Uh, we gotta obviously save points. Assassinate leader 150. So we need like 80 points here to do the interference. Uh, we're getting a ton each turn. So it should be pretty quick. And then we'll assassinate Yuan Shu down the line. Maybe a civil war after we become leader. Maybe we'll just make him 
somehow become our vassal, improve relations, and uh, get him to pay us tributes. That's a good outcome. Let's continue. Alrighty, I picked up a new reform. Not interested. Ah, just, just interesting. He just resummoned Zhang Fei. Kind of feels like they lost the battle. Is this the only army he has? Oh, he's all the way to the north. Huh, so much for us containing him. Oh, that's very interesting. He's in a war with Yuan Shao. Yeah, he is. Huh. Okay. Where did Yuan Shu's army go? Don't see them on the map. That's a little concerning because they might be going here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Run back. Will this army ever threaten somewhere like Danyang? Maybe. Does the new uh, the new girl doesn't get along with either one? At least she gets along with the other um, fugitive officer, the other poison volley general. Right, that's what I meant to say. Ah, uh, what can we do here? We're gonna go face them. Obviously, they're coming for us. We're gonna go wipe them out. It seems that's gonna be our mission. We're gonna give up some mustering. 10% mustering. We should still be close to full if we just move. Yep. He can't reach us, right? Yeah, he can't reach us. Gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, what reform do we want? Spear upkeep discount 10%? That might work for us now. We have 6 units of spear. In one of our retinues, we have melee infantry in other ones. Shot cavalry recruitment cost though, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for upkeep. This is only this is only one that's upkeep. Minus we got that one ready. One more army, not bad. Uh, it's too late for that. That's not bad. Ooh, shot cavalry upkeep. 5% loot. Loot is not important, but most importantly, we get some shot cavalry units. Xiongnu cavalry. Six turns, though. I guess these are all six turns, the ones we want. Another upkeep for spear. Only four turns. We're going to take the better cavalry, give Lu Bu a full retinue. Like this doesn't lead to anything interesting. Here, if we continue to go up, we can get a lot more cavalry. Alright, they all moved. Building time. We don't have a lot of cash, but we have some. So the active assignment's there. We're gonna pump up our banditry income here. We're over a million population. One turn in. Perfect. Income is booming. If we share the spoil here, it'd be even better. Let's give them some more movement and more heal, and also for us more income. If I give up the 2%, I think I'm still one turn full heal. Let's test that out, actually. Yeah, it's still one turn, so it doesn't matter. Alright, that's where we want to be. Great, we can build everything. So that's going to be max build before we go tall. And the weird thing about going tall for bandit factions is we get punished, obviously. Once we're here, we lose public order, we lose, we gain corruption. It's not impossible to do this because there's a lot of ways to get faction-wide corruption reduction. So gaining corruption is actually counterable for bandits, especially since I'm only keeping commanders with um, underlings. So we could bump it up to 8 obviously it would be where we want to go so we get the full building slots 
But the question is, what buildings will be built, right? So here, we're missing a bandit hall for banditry income. But like the potential here is not great. We got some commerce, we got some industry. Like private workshop is as good as things get for us. Maybe we'll just keep this, you know, on the city level. Why not? We might actually build out because it has four counties. This has more potential down the line for us. So this might eventually go tall. And when this go tall, the problem is we don't have a harbor here. So we get banditry income from the toolmaker. We get banditry income from the livestock farm. I believe we also get banditry income from the farmland. So it's basically, you know, bandit building, which we have built all the way. Oh, we don't have this one yet. Right. We didn't have space for it. There's no industry here, but we got industry here, which is why we're doing this combo here. So we would throw in like additional bandit building and land development to get some food for going so tall, but then we don't get the multipliers. Yeah, this also doesn't feel worth. It almost feels like we shouldn't have built this just for the 300 here. Like at the end of the day, this building is going to be worth 40% of 300, 120, and then 190% of whatever we can get the into. Like we have T, so 250, 190%, we're talking about close to 470 ish, 480. So it's going to be worth about 600 for this building. If we went bandit, we would have got 150, but 150 would be boosted by all our banditry percentage from each of these buildings. So there will be 150% on this. And also, if we keep one general sharing the spoils, we're talking about 350% on this. Which would be worth more than 600? No, it's worth less than 600. Because you need 40%. No, 350 would be another... Yeah, it would be worth more than 600. Ugh, a lot of math. Large city to build this. That's an interesting requirement. That means we can do this without incurring any penalties. Hmm. Might just stay city build for everything, actually. Now I think about it, just get this, get large city, build this, downgrade. Don't really care about the, you know, inn and the private workshop stuff. Just go banditry income all the way. Yeah, we'll think about that. Anyways, um, armies move, things moved. We still want to build the inn. That's what I'm trying to debate right now. Yeah, this was still a good combo. If anything, we get rid of this one, because then this this is more utility. Like once all these fully upgrade, we just get rid of this, start building a bandit income or bandit tree building, and then we're done. Upgrade this once, finish up the bandit tree, and then just finish it. All right. That's settled. Let's continue. Distinguish versus direct. Yuan Tan or Guo Si? Well, I like Guo Si actually. He's gonna be in our court with us. So he's gonna have to like us. Oh, she finally gained resiliency. And also, fire arrows and night battle. Wonderful. And I guess we'll end with the offensive fight against a lot. Oh, that's actually a tough fight. Not only do we have to fight three generals, the garrison is going to be huge. Oh, it's level three. This is actually a level three. Hmm. For the sake of infamy, it's better if he comes fight us. That way we fight him like three times, potentially. Like he runs into an ambush, if he doesn't retreat back, then we fight him outside, then we fight the camp, that's three sets of infamy. Let's see if we can pull that off. 
16 food. But all we would want is more food. We will go siege that. Ooh, out of money. Can we fix that? We don't need much. Wow. One army made, and everyone think we're super superpower. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the peace with. I guess we are trading with him, so I guess we would keep the peace with Cao Cao. Can't get both of those things. There's got to be someone we can get both of those things. Hold on, let's go back. Now that we're like strong, strong. Zhang Yang, Zhang Yang. I think I think there's a hope. Oh, he's a vassal. Ah, oh, he's ready too weak. Wow. <laughs> so the the bugged out part about this is you can demand tribute right now when you're still in war. You don't have to peace out, which is why it's really buggy. Because you can even throw other deals in. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe you do end up in a position where you peace out. I'm not sure, but it's weird. Because usually you have to get the peace deal first, then add stuff like this in. But it's showing it without it. Oh, he just have 5 points. Did we sign a deal with him already? I think we might have already signed a deal with Lijue. Like a non-aggression pack or something like that. Oh. You can give him like one food. Two food. The whole world hates us. But we're asking for money. It's just this. Alright. We're making things too complicated. I just want to get paid real quick. Cao Cao we're trading, so technically we can't fight him anyways, so we might as well do this here. Oh, he's actually generous. Oh, he's loaded. I'm gonna like... Yeah, but so much better to ask for per turn that we shouldn't waste it. Oh my god, he is just generous and loaded. What happened to you? Yeah, we get 7,000 here. He doesn't even like us that much. He just feels like he's rich, so he's willing to pay us. That is very strange, but doesn't solve our need for cash this turn, but it solves a lot of other problems. Yan Shao High Empire, Liu Bei. Uh, obviously Liu Bei. Oh, what you got for me? 15 points on the tribute. We're in the same coalition. The only thing we can ever use to balance it out is food. Does he like this? No, he doesn't. I don't want him to go fight Yuan Shu though. Then he's gonna take land that's gonna be my. I can't get tribute on him, but I can get a fat payment from him. Once again, it's probably gonna be better to do this than this. We can do a combination, like I need 400 here, right? That's all we need. And then we can get less greedy here, but... Oh, he's not that rich. His income's not good. He's just rather generous with us. We're talking about like four... Oh. He doesn't have cash on hand either. Heck, 
。我我 go to a small faction with bad income to ask for cash. For these, we'll just try to take what we can. It's so like High Empire has tons of cash, but not great income. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get cash from factions like them. Anyone else? Liu Bei, we might fight. Giant's kind of far. Gongsun Du is really far. I guess we could sign with them. Zhang Zi is far. Miao. Wow, we nailed it. Your proposal is good. We might have enough now. All right, that's all we were trying to do. All right, let's、uh, continue. Oh, level up. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go down the bottom route here. We should have an army here that's always boosting banditry income. Zhengjiang. All right, since you're since you're bored. Ouch! Winter season. It's okay. The leader is not going to get dissatisfied. It's not going to cause any issues, and、uh, we get a nice income boost. Let's continue. All right, we got the ambush we wanted, so they fell for the trap. We can pull a night battle ambush, and、uh, this will be great. Sixty-two percent chance to capture Yuan Shu. I want this. We'll execute him. I know we have the assassination plan working too, so hopefully he just drops it. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right, and then what else do they have? Ah,、uh, garbage, garbage. There's a deeply.、Uh, There's a deep hatred for the faction in the grudge list, so this would work out just fine. Do we know where she is? Oh, she became lame, and we became one-eyed. But only made us love each other more. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, so the ambush plan is quite simple: shock and awe. We're gonna have our siege weapons at the front.、Uh, there's a nice little hill here, just doing damage.、Uh, it will be friendly fire too, but. Given our accuracy, it shouldn't be something we worry about. We'll have the hidden axes, fire arrow that we just picked up from the reform in the front,、uh, invisible firing, so no one will know they're here. They'll just do damage. Meanwhile, we'll occupy the front region where we have those, you know, rapid tiger infantries and range units with our cavalry. We'll crush them in quick charges from both flanks. We'll put this guy in the back.、Uh, there won't really be any resistance from the range units. We'll have our spear units occupy the enemy cavalry at the start, and we'll probably throw a few of them to occupy the range unit here, and maybe the enemy general here. Camp crusher. I guess the Z infantry is what we are kind of worried about. We'll have them just charge out here and just tank up the Z infantry. She will join in the fun.、Mm, I don't know. Maybe against the range units, the archers. Lu Bu will take on Zi Ling, and、uh, Luo Jun will take on Yang Hong. Archers that we have also fire arrows. Gotta find them a clearing somewhere away from the trees. Yeah, against all these Z militias, that'll be perfect. Actually, we probably want them to be firing from this side then, away from the archers. And then I think we're good. I think we have the plan down. Make sure they have our will on. All right, and we'll just give commands real quick at the start. Ready? Go! 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 Go, go, decline. De oh, actually, if they're willing to duel, oh, not anymore. Dealing is already weak from one charge. 
Ah, they ran into our ambush here that we weren't able to throw out in time. We both gonna murder Yang Hong real quick. Stay on him. Give everyone a boost. Occupy him. Finish them with charges. Alright, he killed him. Anyone else? He gets enraged. Does he want to do us? Get him. He's out of control, but he might want to duel afterward. Alright, I'm gonna punish him with our invisible snipers. Here, help finish this. You finish that, you finish that right there. Nope, he doesn't want to duel. We'll go hack him to death. Take him out. Leave my daughter alone. Cavalry, get him. Oh, he got us. Just temporarily. Poke, 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 poke. We will smack him. Oh, got him. Somehow this guy is not. Uh, he's routed. Let's not get some friendly fire in there. Pull them away from the fire forest. Everyone chill. He's gonna route very soon. Come on, realize you're done. There we go. Took him a second. Not a bad ambush. They did their job. Imagine if we had all of these guys. Just snipe, stock. Uh, but fire arrow wouldn't work. Poison arrow would work better in the forest. Alrighty. One set of infamy gain. Give us the seal. Nope. No seal. Oh, maybe. We got it. Okay, we got the seal. We got Jiling. Yang Hong has three items. I'll take the silver one. We're gonna let him go. Because we have his son. We'll let him die assassination death. Only the cavalry took damage. Well, some of the infantry. Hmm. We're not rich anymore, but I think we'll take this because it builds more hatred. But then if we wanted to peace out with us eventually... Let's do this. Alrighty, so uh, we officially gained um, legitimacy. Not only did we marry uh, the Imperial Bloodline, we can now put our Imperial seal on this. Uh, now obviously this was our save point, we'll do this at the start of the next episode. And that will also boost our prestige by a little bit, satisfaction for everyone, so that's obviously great. Uh, Lu Bu will continue to take the army, we'll take this. Gaoshuan is coming. We can maybe grab him as well. Ziling needs a wife, uh, we'll make that happen. That's kind of why we took money, because we're not that rich anymore, because we have to finance our army. They have to spend a turn sieging this down, but then they'll just take this. It'll be a slow take. Um, you know, just be them on the wall, poison wally everyone. But we'll get this, and then we'll turn our attention to Danyang down here. And then after we take this and Danyang, we can peace out with them. We might even be able to peace out with them now and still get Danyang from a trade. That way we don't have to waste time sieging it down. Because the value we're getting for demand tribute was super high, if you remember. Right, the swing of power here. So once we take this and this, we can get the territory as part of the deal. Right, it's 46 point, we'll still get it. And Demand Tribute doesn't need any points, just people won't like that we're piecing out with Yuan Shu, but we don't really care about how they feel. 
We can even throw them a bone. So we just need to get the territories done first, and then we can do this, and they can become, you know, a tribute partner for us. And we'll assassinate him with his son and let their faction go on. And that would be a fate uh, worthy for Yuan Shu. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and see you guys next time. Bye!